This AI chatbot is rumored to be pretty good, but can it teach me how to play RuneScape? Let's find out together, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, there's a good chance you've heard or seen something on the OpenAI chatbot by now, as it's been quite popular recently, at least on the internet. I got the suggestion to try this bot for a video by one of my Discord members who goes by the name of Taohao. So let's get into it straight away and ask this computery boy a simple question. What is the fastest way to get to Lumbridge? Now, this boss didn't just tell us to go to Lumbridge. No, no, it gave us six different options on how to get ourselves from point A to Lumbridge. While it does seem to think I'm asking about old school RuneScape, most of these answers seem reasonable and realistic. I especially like answer six, which says to simply run to Lumbridge from your current location. This will take longer, but it is a free and reliable way to get there. I guess I should start saying that in my guides instead of actually showing you how to get there. Next, I figured I would ask a slightly harder question about how to get to a location only found in modern RuneScape, being Anachrony Island. The answer the bot provided did not make any sense at all, and it even thought that to activate the Anachronia base camp lodestone, you need to use a totem. I decided to refresh the answer, and I got a list of options that again, were quite strange. The second reply making the most amount of sense, as if you do teleport to the dig site, aka the archaeology campus, you can run towards a boat, albeit not to the south, but to the east, and travel to Anachronia. So, that was nicely done. With one kind of successful reply received, it's time to ask the bot some more complex questions. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, a game you've probably already heard about. Raid recently added a really cool new faction called the Sylvan Watchers, and this faction has it all from forest elves to living rock monsters. Rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a cave, the Sylvan Watchers made their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle in the east of Teleria. Don't expect a walk in the park if you try to visit the Sylvan Watchers, because if the beasts don't kill you, the Sylvan probably will for trespassing. They do have a city open to outsiders called Naresa, and they've made fast friends with the neighboring Shadowkin and Dwarf factions through shared struggles. That's why these factions are all in the Naresian Union Alliance in game as their bond of friendship was forged in the city of Naresa. Raid's Christmas event is still active, and by going to 12 days of raid.plarium.com and entering your play ID, you can play a mini game every single day with a chance to win both in game and real life prizes from holiday themed champions to Amazon gift cards. Raid has also added a special MMA hero to the game being Ronda Rousey. Both new and existing players can get this hero by logging in and playing Raid for 7 days between now and February the 20th. Additionally, everyone can activate the promo code Raid Ronda to gain a variety of boost and a ton of silver. If you haven't played Raid before, hit the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen to receive a free epic champion called Jotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and two epic skill totems worth a total of $35. All of these rewards are claimable from your inbox in game for the next 30 days only. So since bossing is one of the biggest activities in RuneScape, I decided to ask the bot how to take on one of the most feared bosses in the game, the Giant Mole. The bot was then kind enough to recommend a gear setup, inventory setup, and perhaps the most scrumptious ability bar I have ever seen in my life. Let's put it to the test. So this is essentially what the bot suggested, or about 95% of it. There's a couple of variations that didn't make sense, including the fourth ability being the Shadow Silk Haunt ability. I'm not sure what that is, but we have a Spider Silk Hood. As for the inventory setup, we have the suggested 100 sharks, 60 plus sourdough and brews, as you can see, ranging potions, prayer potions, super restores, because we need both apparently. As for the gear setup, we have our shield being a god book, holy book, whatever you want to call it. Our gear is about the same as the bot suggested, with the exception of the gloves, as we don't have browser gloves, but thanks to the bot, we have an alternative being the combat bracelet. Now let's give the giant more try. Keep in mind, we are using Revolution here, so the action bar is going to be using the abilities it has available to it, being uh, Surge as well. Let's go ahead and attack it, and then spec it. Oh, no, it used Debilitate. Okay. That works as well, I suppose. We haven't needed to use any food just yet, because the Sourdome and Sword is helping us, just like the bot said. Alright, into the last room we go. We might actually need to use food here, but we have the spec to save us. We have the spec to save us. Surge uh, just keeps on going off because of revolution. Uh, no, 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 heal, heal. Okay, we had to use some food. Eat up. 
One more hit, uh, except... Oh, we got him while surging! Nice one, Revolution. And the spoils are Pure Essence, More Claws, and three times more skin. Also, these baby moles have been quite fierce throughout the fight, and they seem to think I won't kill them, but they are wrong. Die! Alright, so what we've learned today is that you can actually kill bosses in RuneScape with the help of an AI chatbot setup. But what I was really hoping to see was that this chatbot would actually provide us with a meaningful setup a player could actually use for actual play. When asking the bot the same question except for a different boss, in this case Tuskal Zuck, and specifying RuneScape 3, it still came up with some really weird suggestions. For example, weapon. An augmentable two-handed ranged weapon, such as a twisted bow, which I believe makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's a two-handed weapon on old school. Or a noxious scythe. I'm surprised the bot is not able to recognize the different item types because most of the things listed here make sense for the item category. For example, a ranged amulet as the amulet, or the amulet of zealots. Next, take a look at the ability bar. Magic dart, snapshot, rapid fire, for long range damage. Right, that kind of makes sense in terms of these two. Debilitate, asphyxiate, and fragmentation shot for short range damage. Healing aura, rapid heal, and revitalize for healing. Freedom and anticipation for immunity to stuns. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Reflect and devotion for damage reduction. That makes total sense. Shadow tendrils and quake for AoE damage. This makes sense. This could make sense in the future. Or if you're using mechanized chinchompas, but th that's weird. But weirdest of them all... Death Swiftness and Surge for Mobility. This problem of somewhat logical things being mixed with some completely ridiculous statements is consistent when asking this bot about any boss or slayer creature. When asking about a gear setup and inventory for cows, it quite literally told me to use full Darox armor and a fire cape against cows' ranged attacks. And when I regenerated that message, it told me to bring along a pickaxe in case I wanted to mine the iron ore in the cow field. But then with other questions, such as this one, is Slayer the best money-making method in RuneScape, it seems to reply with perfect sense without giving its own opinion, always staying neutral. If you ask the bot for specific arm alternatives, it does seem to give more reasonable gear advice that fits the weapon setup initially mentioned. So when fighting a boss like Vindicta, you'd actually have a fighting chance. But the action bar advice is just so strange that you essentially need to turn into a journalist to get something sensible out of the bot. And yes, I just dismissed my familiar as part of my action bar. Be sure to let me know if you want to see me recreating or creating a full guide using answers from this bot only in the comments down below. When asking the bot about money-making methods limited to a single skill, it seems to give a couple of options which do technically make sense, although aren't relevant money-makers nowadays. The bot also seems to use a disclaimer message very similar to something I would say in my own videos below every single message. Take for example this fishing one. It's worth noting that the most profitable method may change over time as the prices of different fish fluctuate on the Grand Exchange. That's almost exactly what I would say in a fishing money-making video. Since the information the bot was providing me through the money-making method questions was a little bit outdated or old-school related, I decided to ask the bot if it had heard of the mining and smithing rework. And this absolute mad lad of a bot said yes. Sadly though, most of the information in this message was full of mistakes. So it doesn't really seem that this AI can help me play RuneScape or teach me how to do things in game or make it easier to create guides even, but it does seem to have better replies than I expected because I didn't expect it to be able to answer all those questions with a 100% accurate answer. Apparently it uses something called reinforced learning with human feedback probably the thumbs up and down thing you can see on every reply, and bases its replies on data from the internet up until 2021. I'm still not entirely sure how this works, but uh, you can ask it some very interesting RuneScape questions, and it does seem to come up with a reasonable reply most of the time. Like coming up with a random list of things related to a topic, in this case being RuneScape video ideas. And as you can see, some of these listed are very popular things creators do in the RuneScape scene. 
After asking the bot to teach me how to play RuneScape, it basically gave me a summary of the game which was quite good, except it said that you use the WASD keys to move your character and spacebar to jump. I made sure to ask the bot again and it corrected itself, yet made the same mistake. The bot probably considers using the WASD keys to move around your camera as movement as well. As a final question, let's ask this bot if it knows of my YouTube channel's existence. Never mind, fuck this bot.